My story begins as 12 pyramids were positioned around a planet you call Earth. They remain in higher frequency until my story has been told and the souls have left. Each pyramid was to bring meaning and purpose based on their own programming. My story unfolds in the land of Kim, known best to you as Egypt. The pyramid over Egypt links with the hourglass, with time and with illusion. From here the nature of time and space, cause and effect, duality, were created. And so the cycles of time began. The 12 pyramids moved into position and through consciousness created physical forms based on geometric patterns that would follow the cycles until the end of time. And the cycles would be calibrated by the number 12 based on the 12 pyramids of creation. These would be known as the cycles of time which would be experienced by each evolving civilization. And these timepieces would work in synchronicity with the pyramids and the matrix. The gears of these clocks would be round and seen as wheels within wheels or clocks within clocks marking cycles within cycles. And these cycles would appear to begin and end as they move through the synchronicities of their creation. As keeper of time, I would perpetuate the illusion of the cycles of time. It is my job to recalibrate each cycle wherein time would take on a new dimension. To mark these cycles a geophysical timepiece was created on the Earth's surface. It linked to the matrix through a portal of energy. This portal was created by the 12 pyramids in their likeness and was placed on the center of the planet. It would be known as the Great Pyramid and would maintain the illusion of time. And the soul sparks emerged into the matrix through the rainbow prism of light and color. As I watched from above and below, the pyramid above the Middle East is the focal point for the first story of humanity. The gods and goddesses of Sumer, you would know this place is the cradle of civilization, the story of Adam and even their bloodline. It is from this pyramid that a tale was told of the first humans who came to play on Earth's soil and give it life. Their very existence would be created as a metaphor for the creational patterns of humanity's earliest roots. And the sacred symbols of this creation would be genetically encoded into those who would come to be part of this land. For it is these souls who would awaken at the end of this cycle to lead the others into the next creation. The Middle East would carry the frequency of this information throughout the cycle. Much blood would be shed by the keepers of the secrets and their descendants on this soil where creation was said to spring forth. It is in this region that the Lords of Light and Darkness would play out their earliest games battles that would continue until the end of this cycle and the beginning of the Golden Age of Light to be brought forth by the keeper of this pyramid, one known as Tashi Ra El Amun. Tashi Ra El Amun will embrace the souls and take them to the pyramid where they would find healing from all they had endured on their Earth journey. And there would be a new beginning, a new tree of life would spring forth from this pyramid its matrix joining with the other 11 pyramids of creation. Darkness would return to light and the souls would be free and healed. It is time for humanity to return to this pyramid to heal in the womb of creation, to move through its matrix of geometric shapes and understand how the first man and woman were created. A pyramid was placed above the grids over Europe creating great mythologies for the souls to experience. The soul who creates through this pyramid goes by the frequency, Trio Genus the storyteller. He is one who can capture the imagination of one soul or all souls as he weaves the patterns of his stories throughout the energies of the matrix. These patterns would appear to repeat in cycles, each with its own cast of characters incorporated in a body of work that would have no beginning nor end but would weave forever creating new stories, woven into the fabric of each myth are the keys of the creational process. These myths would be regarded as the great mysteries of the creation of humanity. And these myths would take on many dimensions and lessons in which the souls could select one or more roles. Myths are not bound by space nor time, and may be entered as the souls may desire. Let us enter the halls of the pyramid of mythological rendering. There you will be able to interact in all myths, at the same time, by merely placing your consciousness into the matrix. For it is here that I folk the scribe, write many of the storylines as dictated to me by the souls. Perhaps you and I can create a myth of our own. For in truth all is myth, myth is all. The Atlantean Pyramid creates the illusion of realities in time on the Earth plane. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency, Alas Kokizal. In the Temple of the Crystals the Goddess sits, she whose consciousness creates all and everything from within. Through this crystal matrix a race of evolved humans was born. And when it was time for those souls to once again submerge in the sea of creation to evolve into a new experience the crystals would echo the harmonics and the souls would remember and align for transition. The Atlantean Pyramid has great mythology about an ancient time when man used his gift of intuition and worked with spirit. It tells of priests and priestesses who used massive crystals and walked with giants and strange creatures on the surface of the planet. This pyramid tells of I, both known as Thoth the Atlantean or Tehuti, who ruled the land of Atlantis for thousands of years known there by many names and descriptions. It is written that before the great civilization of Atlantis fell, I went with my consort and a high priests and priestesses in great spaceships to create a new home and a new civilization that this place would be the land of Kim, known to you as Egypt. 
that I and others from Atlantis would record and store information in great libraries in a place to be known as the halls of Amenta, Amenta meaning mankind. Listen now for the echoes of the tones within your mind. And many would search for these records in their quest to remember why they have come here and who they are. And they would feel that they have greater purpose in this timeline and seek to find out what their purpose might be. The Atlantean Pyramid would create tales of the fall of this great civilization as warning to those who would walk the earth at the time of this reading. And humanity would worry about the destruction of its earth home. Fear not as the souls need only remember their why home into the light. For there is no beginning nor is there an end. And I, Toth the Atlantean, shall now take you to the Pyramid of Atlantis so you may experience all that you are. And you will understand what happened in the game of light versus darkness. And you will remember what you must do. On our journey through the matrix of the pyramids we come upon one that is both vague and fluid in density. The Lemurian Pyramid is one of two pyramids that creates a storyline about a reality that supposedly once existed in third dimension but has evolved into higher frequency. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency, Tekoporima. The Lemurian Pyramid creates the illusions of dimensions or levels of reality. The pyramid can be found in the grid over the region known as the Pacific Ocean. It has sometimes been viewed by passing sailors on long voyages in the open seas. As they move between the portals of their minds and those of reality, they have seen such a pyramid before them. The true nature of this pyramid is to maintain and enforce awareness of higher levels of experience for if mankind can understand that there is more than just his physical expression he will be in readiness to move to his next level of consciousness believing that his Lemurian ancestors rose to those very heights. Go then now to this pyramid of Lemuria, join forces with those who create this matrix. Understand the nature of higher creation in the sea of celestial evolution. It was here in the area of Tibet that a pyramid was placed in frequency. Those who followed named it the place of Shamhala. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency signature, Suli. This is the creational pyramid which connects us with our spiritual wisdom and knowledge. It is within this pyramid that spiritual teachings are created based on the needs of each culture as it evolves. And it was my job as scribe to see to it that these teachings were recorded through oral traditions in sacred texts and scrolls within the energies of crystalline bodies in stone formations in hieroglyphs and pictographs in channeled manuscripts and other art forms. It is in this pyramid that the entities known as spiritual masters and teachers, angels, gods and goddesses, call and spiritual guides originated. Many souls will have memories of arriving on planet Earth through this pyramid then taking the form of Tibetan monks. It is written that these teachers have secret scrolls hidden away since the dawn on mankind. These teaching can be found within the matrix of this pyramid given in keys at the end of this cycle. Enter now this pyramid where these scrolls await you. Join with the energies of the three creators of this matrix. Read their words. Heed their messages. Then you will know. The pyramid of dreams is located in the grids over Australia. The soul who creates through this pyramid is the dream keeper. When souls go to their place of sleep time it is said that they meet the dream keeper. It is within the energies of this region that the chosen priests and priestesses incarnated to guard and protect the creational knowledge stored within the matrix of Dreamtime. This knowledge is given in symbols during Dreamtime to those ready to access it. Once given, the soul may return to the physical with the ability to move back and forth between realities. And that soul shall understand how to create in Dreamtime and how that creation becomes manifest in the physical. Within his matrix they may select experiences just as they do in their physical time. The dream keeper takes the souls to his matrix of never-ending dreams where anything can happen and usually does. And here the souls can fly and be free. All souls visit the dream keeper and are linked to his matrix by way of their dream experiences. The dream keeper helps them resolve problems and teaches the true nature of their experiences. Some will see this dream time as the true reality for it is as real as anything else within the matrix. A part of all souls remains connected to the matrix and the dream keeper to reconnect over and over the dreamscapes continuing after consciousness returns to the physical body. Before you go to sleep ask the dream keeper to show you your destiny and awaken your consciousness. The first pyramid is presently located in the grid over the area you call Antarctica which would be considered a portal to other planetary grid system. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency signature Exerthanius. The function of this pyramid is to create and guide experiences linked to the comings and goings of extraterrestrial entities who were part of the history of planet Earth. And there were many entities from these faraway worlds that were once part of the story of your planet. Their journeys encoded within the Matrix by Exothanius and his two assistants. Their souls having experienced through the energy of this pyramid as those who come from Sirius, Nibiru, Orion, Lyra, the Pleiades, Mars, Andromedia, Arcturus, Vega, Venus, Jupiter, among others familiar to you. 
and so the storylines would read that these entities came to your planet in great spaceships and interacted with those who lived on the planet, in the water and others below the surface. And there was created a tale of a great spaceship buried beneath a giant lion who serves as a marker. And similar stone markers were left on every place created in the heavens which linked to the Matrix. The experiences in other worlds are as real as your soul experience at this time on planet Earth. Those souls would carry the memories of these distant worlds often as a true reality than that which they came here to embrace. And when this book is found, the ice shall melt from this place, revealing starships created by this pyramid, left behind as reminders of their work and interaction on your planet. And the energies of this pyramid shall still be read in the matrix of this total creation and experienced by those who would come to these creational forces for guidance. And Exerthanius shall guide their souls through this geometric matrix so they may remember and join with other expressions of their creation. And soulmates shall meet in many worlds and forms. And they shall join in union, then be thrust apart, to once again rejoin in other alien forms. There does exist a pyramid above the Arctic whose purpose is balancing the poles of the planetary grid and of consciousness once frozen in time now melting down and shifting on all levels. Harmonic Ice Crystal. The keeper of this pyramid is known by the frequency name, Sophia Hotmat, creator of all knowledge and wisdom. Sophia creates an ever-expanding body of knowledge flowing through the consciousness matrix where souls experience that they may study the natural laws of creation, then learn and develop their abilities to think and understand that which is occurring in their realities. For it is in Sophia's matrix that the souls understand the connection of all things to this matrix, to the twelve pyramids, and to the central source that acts as a hub in the center of all of this, the creational energy that gives life to the twelve pyramids, and all that they create as expressions of the geometric design. Within this frozen monolith one understands how our soul is created and how that soul can manifest in many realities at the same time, taking knowledge from the matrix with each experience. Within this pyramid, one can create and access great wisdom by a mere thought. And that thought is linked to all other thoughts which bind the souls together. And that in one nanosecond of your timeline, all information is learned and understood by all. It is now time to travel to the halls of knowledge created within this pyramid of ice and light. You will combine your mind and consciousness with the matrix. Then you will understand all things in your world. There is a pyramid in frequency over the Inca ruins of Maku Pico. It is linked to the Nazca lines creating a pattern of evolution in design. The soul who creates through this pyramid goes by the frequency, Lubalia. Her consciousness speaks to the people of Earth about a time long ago when ancient travels from the stars descended to the surface creating a landscape in which souls would descend from above to experience later to return to her consciousness through her temple. It is within this pyramid that emotions are experienced ranging from lowest frequency to those of pure light energy. The nature of this pyramid is to keep emotions flowing in that which you experience as formless waves of energy which shift within each soul from moment to moment. And the souls shall know all ranges of these emotions for they are in the matrix and they have come to experience the gamut of them all. And the souls will place in highest esteem the frequency of light which is creation and contains all emotions in balance and they will connect it with the part of their being that links to the source of creation, the heart, that which expresses what they shall call love and keeps the soul eternal. They shall strive for this place of higher emotion. In so doing, they will experience great suffering, which will help them bring forth higher understanding. And the souls will feel torture and torment and love and compassion. And they will place all emotions into words and deeds and great dramas in which they did act. And great works shall result in the expression of their emotions guided by the flow of the emotional matrix. And they shall go to this emotional temple within their souls to find answers to riddles of creation. There they will find their answers, not always as their senses have guided. And each soul shall search until it is ready to enter this pyramid. Once entered it will experience all emotions at one time with understanding far beyond the comprehension of humanity. Each soul shall embrace all emotions within itself. Come with me now to the pyramid of emotion. Let not old fears blind your way. Throw away all concepts of emotion and see the truth in who you are. I will teach you how to find peace and the balance in your soul. The Mayan pyramid is in the grid of time and synchronicity. The keeper of the pyramid is Quetzalcoatl. Within the pyramid, timepieces and symbols are created in accordance with the laws of creation. They are carried throughout the matrix, combining all wisdom and knowledge within their design. They fit together as the gears of synchronicity forming the totality of human experience. In dream time and meditation one moves within the matrix attracting the keys that synchronize with needed experiences and Quetzalcoatl created encoded keys within his timepieces to guide the souls into higher consciousness. He placed his keys within the matrix to be found by those who were him chosen, so they may teach humanity about the changes that occur at the end of the cycle. And the two souls who assist Quetzalcoatl operate and maintain the keys as they will be found and the information unlocked. Join me now within the halls of this pyramid as there are keys that will return you to your natural state of being. 
you will recognize your keys of light, they will open your soul and your consciousness. Quetzalcoatl returns. Darkness emerged from the void moving into the pyramids of consciousness, ending as souls cross over the bridges of time, space and illusion. The sacred spirals of geometry guide their journey home. The end of my story takes me to the pyramid over New York City. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency Isis for she is the feminine aspect in all that moves through the matrix. It is she who expresses herself in the form of the Earth Mother. She, who is creator of life and evolution, she who sends energy to the matrix that perpetuates the reality in which souls may manifest. She, who has no permanent form, but that of light. It is she that you knew as Sekhmet and Hathor, among other creational forces. It is she who creates from her pyramid, weaving her creation into the fabric of time. Her energies move through the matrix, touching all that is in creation, all that flows through consciousness, all and everything that is both old and new, for they are one and the same. From her pyramid she brings the matrix, full circ creator and destroyer all in one. Travel with me to the pyramid of the feminine, she who now returns to planet Earth to express herself in the light harmonics of creation. My story begins as 12 pyramids were positioned around a planet you call Earth. They remain in higher frequency until my story has been told and the souls have left. Each pyramid was to bring meaning and purpose based on their own programming. My story unfolds in the land of Kim, known best to you as Egypt. The pyramid over Egypt links with the hourglass, with time and with illusion. From here the nature of time and space, cause and effect, duality, were created. And so the cycles of time began. The 12 pyramids moved into position and through consciousness created physical forms based on geometric patterns that would follow the cycles until the end of time. And the cycles would be calibrated by the number 12 based on the 12 pyramids of creation. These would be known as the cycles of time which would be experienced by each evolving civilization. And these timepieces would work in synchronicity with the pyramids and the matrix. The gears of these clocks would be round and seen as wheels within wheels or clocks within clocks marking cycles within cycles and these cycles would appear to begin and end as they move through the synchronicities of their creation. As keeper of time, I would perpetuate the illusion of the cycles of time. It is my job to recalibrate each cycle wherein time would take on a new dimension. To mark these cycles a geophysical timepiece was created on the Earth's surface. It linked to the matrix through a portal of energy. This portal was created by the 12 pyramids in their likeness and was placed on the center of the planet. It would be known as the Great Pyramid and would maintain the illusion of time and the soul sparks emerged into the matrix through the rainbow prism of light and color. As I watched from above and below, the pyramid above the Middle East is the focal point for the first story of humanity. The gods and goddesses of Sumer, you would know this place is the cradle of civilization, the story of Adam and Eve and their bloodline. It is from this pyramid that a tale was told of the first humans who came to play on Earth's soil and give it life. Their very existence would be created as a metaphor for the creational patterns of humanity's earliest roots and the sacred symbols of this creation would be genetically encoded into those who would come to be part of this land. For it is these souls who would awaken at the end of this cycle to lead the others into the next creation. The Middle East would be